I love watching that intro. I do too. I mean, it made I, me I hungry love the again. Music too. I know. Although I've been eating for the last couple of days, so and it did look like Fourth of July right there, which we have Fourth of July here. Yes. So and with it being on a Tuesday this year, it was like Fourth of July lasted five days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So what did you guys do over the 4th? I know you worked quite a bit. We worked, but we had fun too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we now, grilled some wings. That sounds, oh, mm -hmm. yum. Now, what did you do all weekend, though? You had your food truck. Um, we had our food truck at uh, Blowing Springs. Right, so you were busy. So. Busy, busy, mm -hmm. and it was wonderful. Yeah. Well, I'm Stephanie Anderson, and this is Jenny Johnson, and we are kindred spirits, um, as JB said mm -hmm. earlier. Uh, we hang out quite a bit together also, mm -hmm. but um, so today definitely we just wanted to talk about the 4th of July and all the fun things, but also your nonprofit that you have, which is near and dear to my heart too. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to talk about that and then the big event you have coming up yes. at the Naturals, which is super yes. exciting. Um, but I did want to start with somebody that we love. Um, his name was DeWitt Carpenter, and we like to call him Dewey. Mm -hmm. And he was amazing, but these flags definitely make us think of him too because he was a World War II veteran, which how many World War II vets are even alive anymore? And um, having the store at Bella Vista Wine and Spirits, it was great because he called us <laughs> his pharmacy, which I think is so cute. And so one time when I went and visited him, I said, it's your pharmacy here with the delivery. And he said, who told you that I said that? And I said, oh, word gets out. But anyway, he was just a delight, and we loved him so much. And he actually came to his pharmacy <laughs> on Tuesday, so we got to visit with him and then heard that he passed away this past Friday. So what's one of your best memories of him? Oh, whenever I would deliver to him, he would be waiting up there outside the lobby. And uh, he would say, I hear you're looking for a carpenter. <laughs> Because his last name was Carpenter. Right. Oh, he was just precious. He, he was, was my favorite. Oh, and such a great mm. sense of humor. Oh. <laughs> he, he truly was a delight. And so I did a, a delivery back in April, and he had just turned 100. I mean, which was magnificent. Oh. And so I couldn't find where he was because I was driving around. Of course, I passed him. I'm sure I was looking at the wrong side whenever um, I delivered. But I finally found him. And we visited outside for about an hour. Oh. And he told me so many great stories, and he was just so funny. I mean, just hilarious, too, on top of it. And um, just loved it. And so he and his daughter, Jennifer, came in this last Tuesday. Uh -huh. I think you were there when we saw uh -huh. him. And uh, she just said how much he loved coming to the store. And, and uh -huh. he was even a crack up that day. He made some cute little funny comments. <laughs> and anyway, um, uh -huh. but we're really going to miss him. And uh -huh. so I think there's a picture of um, Mr. DeWitt Carpenter. If they're, okay, what a horrible picture of me. But I had to show it because we took some selfies that day. I said, hey, Dewey, can we take some pictures together? And he was like, of course. So there we are. That's DeWitt Carpenter, and his family is precious to us also. I talked with his daughter this morning, Jennifer, and she's just a delight. And I know that they're really struggling right now and we'll miss him. But anyway, I wanted to give a shout out to him. and. Again, thank everybody for our freedom and uh, all the veterans and those yeah. who serve and what we just celebrated because I think we do get caught up in, like we went out to the lake and you know we cooked hot dogs and we grilled and, and the right. fireworks and they're beautiful, but it's really all about you know just the freedom that we have. And I love, I used to read this one poem, it's called Freedom is Not Free because so many people really did sacrifice to right. give us what we have. So anyway. Shout out to yes. Dewey today, and we have some ready-to-drink cocktails, so we'll Ooh. have one for you. I think vodka was one of his favorite spirits. So It was. Yeah, he loved it, so we'll have one of those for In you, In honor Dewey. of Dewey. In honor of Dewey. We might as well have a toast. Right. <laughs> yes. So he was great. So he was. Anyway, shout out to Dewey and his family. Yes. and um, Keep them in their prayers. Absolutely, yeah. So, um, Okay, well, let's talk about you. And the okay. food fairies yes. and all that's going on. And what you've been doing lately with your food truck, um, I always want to call it, you know, something wrong, but the Dutch oven on wheels. Yes. 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 So we, uh, first of all, this is our, I love this. This is our seasoning that goes in every 
recipe. Mm -hmm. this, this is the main ingredient. It's love. <laughs> <laughs> and I love this. And so, you know, I was asking Jenny earlier, well, what's in it? And she goes, hello. I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> it's love. And it's spice for living. I love that. Yes. And it is so it's sweet. immeasurable. Exactly. That's great. That's great. So tell us about these. And okay. then I do want to read this story at some point. And you won't have to. Okay. Um, so we are selling these at the Dutch Oven on Wheels at $5 each. 100% of the proceeds goes to the food fairies. Okay. That's going to help with the backpack drive because mm -hmm. uh, we work with some of the local schools in the rural area to help um, fill in a need there. Right. And, you know, so many people, we do live in northwest Arkansas. Right. It's booming. It's growing. I also sell real estate. There's a lot of cash buyers. There's a lot of people moving in, and we have so much to do. And I've heard people say to me that don't live in northwest Arkansas, oh, you live where the streets are paved with gold. Well, no, not always, right. you know, and we all, whether, you know, wealth comes in different ways and measurements. Right. Um, there's a lot of wealthy people that are not truly monetary wealthy, but then there's a lot of people that, I mean, just need a lot of help, especially with food. And some of them are out on the county roads. Right, and just basic needs. And right. gas to get into town to buy mm -hmm. everything. So you really help and support families and kiddos mm -hmm. that need that and can't yes. just run to the market or you right. know, live close to town where they can go. So kind of talk about how this started because okay. I know you have the biggest heart <laughs> and um, then how it's just evolved and, and how we can help. Well, okay, so it started because I was working at a liquor store in a rural area and we would see the kids taking a back seat, mm -hmm. you know, to even basic needs. And so I was like, you know, they're coming and getting their alcohol, but the kids are wanting shoes and food and, mm -hmm. you know, snacks, like right. the good snacks. Right. And it's like, oh. So we built a little pre pantry mm -hmm. and we put it down at the corner. It's definitely, you know, when you see kiddos that need that help. So back in my former life, I was a teacher and a middle school principal for 29 mm -hmm. and a half years oh. and loved every second. But the greatest part of the job was the kids. Right. And all the kids. And a lot of my kids, you know, and we lived in Springdale. And so people, oh, they had a lot of needs. Their family had right. a lot of needs. And so, I mean, just the feeling that we get mm -hmm. of helping others, it truly right. does warm your heart. It, it does. And so you saw a need. I did. created the pantry there and yes. then how has that grown over time? Well we've placed other pantries. Um, we've got one out there in Avoca mm -hmm. uh, at the city park. Okay. Uh, they have one at Lost Bridge Village. Mm -hmm. There's some in Pea Ridge. Okay. Uh, so anytime you see a little free pantry, Come put a couple up. of cans of something in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe a peanut butter. If you're going to the store, pick up just one extra item. Right. One item. Or five. Or five. Five is my favorite <laughs> number. Five is my favorite number. But, um, you know, fill, the, fill those with love. Mm -hmm. A lot of the schools have the little free pantries now, right. too. Uh, but what we do in July is we, we do little fundraisers. Mm -hmm. We also do uh, tickets for the Naturals game Which to help up. get funds for our backpack drive. Right. And, and what we do this. is we fill the backpacks with food. That way it can be discreet. Mm -hmm. the, the, you know, sometimes kids are mean. You what? know, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't need to know what's in there. Right. You know, and so they can discreetly go and have the good snacks mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and right. so forth. Or if and they, have a new backpack for And school. have a new backpack. So I know that's big. So. You know, a lot of our kids, it was summertime, it was spring break, it was Christmas. We saw kids being sad at yes. school, not looking forward to the break because honestly, they love their teachers, they love their friends. Mm -hmm. They also had breakfast and lunch every day. Right. So summer can be very difficult for a lot of families. And so I love what you're doing and I love that you just took this upon yourself. <laughs> So we definitely want to give a shout out constantly to Food Fairies and what a great name. And as a fairy, 
with some pixie dust <laughs> and you know sprinkling this so can I read this yes and Jenny and I um, not we don't really need glasses but let's just say we might have forgotten uh, ours today yes. in case we did need them yes, but yes I've got this okay so the story behind love are you ready for many years a man watched his wife take a locked box down from her cupboard she would unlock the box take a pinch sprinkle it all over everything that she was cooking and then relock the box and return it to its place one day while his wife was away his curiosity got the best of him he went to the cupboard took down the box and opened it to his surprise it was completely empty <laughs> he turned it over and in the bottom was written the word love I love that so on the bottom of the container so here's what we're trying to get at don't keep your love locked up in a cupboard keep it within easy reach and use it generously so though it's not in your recipe book go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of love and put a big pinch on everything that you do and I think what a great gift and a great reminder and I love that it's immeasurable and if there's anything that this world needs with hearing just all if you watch the news each morning of the things that are going on um, compassion and love if we could show that to people maybe then they will continue to spread that and we need to yes. continue to do that every day right so we've got to be the change we do we've and got to be the change right so um, five dollars all of the profit goes so we will be buying some of these Thank and you. Jenny and I both work at Bella Vista Wine and Spirits which is on 31 Cunningham Corner off Reardon and um, stop by there and you can pick these up yes we'll have some available mm -hmm. He gave me a sign. back to wild hair Wednesday I'm, I mean wind down Wednesday I mean um, yeah it's July 5th with Jenny and Stephanie entertaining <laughs> with food and spirits it is a wild hair day we've been at the lake we've been doing all kinds of stuff and every time I look in the camera I'm like whoo that's a lot going on right there but anyway it is what it is and we got to keep things you know happening right? and never know what it's gonna be like so yeah, anyway yeah oh no this is just the way it is I had yeah. students that would recognize me 20 years later and be like I recognized you because of your hair oh excellent good I'm so glad um, so welcome back to entertaining with wine and spirits and you know as much as we like to entertain we also love to give back to the community so I have Jenny Johnson with food fairies and uh, talking about her nonprofit that just does amazing work so we want to continue with that um, and then we'll talk about some other fun things going on. Um, but we were talking about the backpack drive. Yes. And now's a great time to do that. Right. And so at Bella Vista Wine and Spirits, we have um, what we'd like to do August 2nd, 3rd, and 4th is a big push because school will be starting soon. Right. But we would love to be one of the drop-off places at Bella Vista Wine and Spirits that they could bring backpacks, non-perishable food items. And um, we'll also get a list of things. But... What are some of the main things that fit in the backpack that would also be good to send home with kids? Um, like cans of ravioli, ramen noodles, mm -hmm. peanut butter, uh, little snack crackers. Mm -hmm. uh, Easy things for them to cereal open. Cereal bars, right, little like mac and cheese. I started mac and cheese you could put in the microwave, right? right. Or peaches, applesauce, right. just things easy to open right. that are still kind of nutritious exactly okay and things that kids can keep you know, fix themselves maybe a can of soup or some cereal right or uh, instant oatmeal oh that's good you know that mm -hmm. those are easy good options that would right help um, make them feel full that's right keep them warm on the inside mm -hmm. that's exactly right. and I know the juice drinks are good but they have a lot of sugar and right. so I don't know maybe even little small bottles of water 
There's sure. There's the little tiny ones to right. put in there. Yeah, so, that would be great. Yeah, okay. So that's going to be August 2nd third and fourth. We really want to have a push. We'll have more information on that. We'll be back here on the show August 2nd uh, to remind you of that, but please share that information and plan to stop by and bring that in. We'd also love to have a backpack to go with that. Yes, it would be fantastic. Right, so if you wanted to bring a backpack full of goodies, that would be amazing. Um, or if you want to donate a backpack, we'll put food in. If you want to bring food, however you want to do it, but we would love and, and really appreciate and just say thank you from the kids that right. get these items because when you start school, it's always a big deal to have what everybody else has right. and something new. Um, so that will be a really great time and people get excited about school, especially right. kids going back or sometimes they don't. We take um, little pencils, just plain pencils, mm -hmm. and we handwrite little sweet notes Jenny. on them and we stick them in the backpack. You're the best. <laughs> and you sprinkle with, it with love. <laughs> And then you put some love in there so yes. that they have a great day and a great year. Yes. I think that's so awesome. You really are just the kindest heart. You really are. Well, so you think of others. It's the little things that matter. Isn't it? And everything. Yes. It's attention to detail. Yeah. So. Whenever you see that little, you're amazing mm -hmm. or you're courageous or oh. you you can do amazing things. Right. You know, it just boosts their, you sure. just see them, a pep in their step. So maybe when you bring the backpack, put a sticky note in there. With the little yes. note, hope you have a great year. Or create your own pencil note or something and put in there. And um, that's yes. awesome. This is just a great way uh, for people to give back. Yes. In an easy way. Yeah. In a great local in Bella Vista place to drop off. So, exactly. Okay. So we've talked about that August 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Let's really try to get as many backpacks with food items and some basic school supplies. That would be great. Um, again, let's talk about the naturals. So I know last yes. night they had an amazing fireworks show. They're a great partner for Northwest Arkansas. Yes. And um, you have an opportunity, we showed this a little bit earlier, but for people to attend the naturals game. Yes. And it's got some great things going on for kids that night too. And this is it going does. to be September the 3rd, mm -hmm. but they need to buy their tickets prior to that. Right. Um, all the ticket money has to be turned in by August 20th. Okay. And then they will, they can either hold the ticket at the, the box or we can arrange pickup. Okay, all right. So need to buy tickets by August 20th. Yes, and they're $10 each. Okay, $10. And from what I understand, you're getting a number of tickets. 200, we have okay. 200 to sell. Okay, the more tickets you sell, the more profit will then go to the food fairies. Exactly. Okay. We would love to sell the whole 200. Okay. That would be fantastic. It would, because more of those proceeds will then go back to the food fairies, which is the whole point of this anyway. Exactly. But that night at the, nat at the naturals, I believe what, there's something for kids. Uh, so kids eat free. Okay. There is, they get to run the bases. Mm, really? There's fireworks after the game. Okay. And, uh, you know, for $10. Wow. The fireworks alone, mm -hmm. you know. And the meal. Kids and get the, to eat free. Yes. And they have a great night. Yes. And, and then you help. And you help give back. Support the food fairies. That's awesome. Awesome. I yes. love that. So, okay. Great night to go. Yes. September 3rd for food, fun, fireworks. Oh, yes. that's a show in itself. Food, fun, and fireworks. Great family memories. And great family memories. That's awesome. So yes. um, we will talk about this again on okay. August 2nd when we're here. Uh, hopefully Jenny will come back with me on that day because yes, we want to keep the fun rolling. Yes. And we will remind you about where to bring your backpacks, the food, how to buy tickets. And we also will have some of our little love containers. Yes, ma'am. And sprinkle on I just think that's a great gift for everybody and a great right. reminder about continuing to give love. Right. And never let that stop. Okay. Well, perfect. So those are the main things that we wanted to at least visit with you about um, with the Food Fairies. Just don't forget, such a great organization that helps so many people and they really need it. Thank so, you so much. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So um, we also love to have fun and, you know, it's, it's hot. It, it, I did get a little shower at my house this morning, which cooled things down, which was nice. But when we are out at the lake, we're playing golf. Um, we're just sitting on our patio. We're hanging out with friends. We're doing all those fun things. It's nice to have what we call RTDs. 
ready to drink cocktails. So fun. Yes. And so I brought a few from the store today that we love. And also we have some Tito's vodka here that's in a very patriotic bag that we wanted to show. And Tito's is a huge sponsor. It says Tito's are for dog lovers. Well, they love animals. And so right. the local animal shelter, and I will give a shout out to Jenny on this, she helped really to connect our Tito's rep with the local Bella Vista Animal Shelter. They donated, from what I understand, leashes, dog bowls, bandanas, yes. spirits, yes. Um, a lot of different things, just all to them so they could raise money for the animal shelter. Huge. Um, and I think that golf tournament, everything's coming up the 14th, or no, like the 15th, 16th. I believe it's that I believe weekend. So. so check that out too. And thank you to Tito's um, for bringing spirits to all of us. So with Tito's too, um, it's always nice if you partner Tito's, if you want to, with some orange juice, which is always nice. Right, refreshing. And we have these beautiful glasses well, orange juice and vodka and how pretty put your ice cubes in there and it just makes a great mimosa so we have these at Bella Vista wine and spirits come check those out and we also have some fun glasses whoops dropped that <laughs> I meant to do that but I wanted to show you that these are beautiful they feel great and it's merit glassware we just started carrying these at the store and they don't break mm -mm. but they feel fantastic oh they feel elegant. Don't accidentally drop yours, Jenny. Whoops! <laughs> so, anyway, we have these at the store. We think they're great fun. And there is a thin layer of carpet here, I will say, but at the store, there's not. And when I'm talking to people and I go, Quick, you know, then I'm like, oh, it's okay. It's merit. So, anyway, um, we, we have different variety and we have these as well. I don't drop these as often because of the stem. I don't want to really check that out, but look at that beautiful cut. It looks like glass. It does. So it's fancy, but it can be taken anywhere. And on boats, when you're out on the lake, we're not supposed to have any type of glass. So these are perfect uh, to take out or on your patio, and you don't have to worry about people dropping them. Right. So super fun and just some different ideas I, for entertaining. Um, okay, so I'm a huge grapefruit person, as you know. Not everybody is, but I love this grapefruit Paloma. It is wonderful. It is one of Easy my favorites. Easy drink. Mm -hmm. It comes in at 7%. Right. So, you know, fair amount of right. tequila. And um, Paloma is a grapefruit and tequila drink. Been around for a long time. So if you like both of those, this one's ready to go. You can always make your own. So you can, you know, buy tequila and grapefruit juice and mix it and have that. Or in a can that's easy to take with you. Easy to chill in the... Um, Cooler. Cooler. Ready to go. Which ready we have to coolers. Go. Yeah. So that's why they call them ready to drink. Yes. So that's a great option. Which one of these would you want to talk about? We've got High Noon, which many people love. The Carbless. Mm-hmm. Carbless. Is amazing. It especially is. if uh, you have someone in your group that is diabetic mm -hmm. or, you know, has blood sugar issues. Uh, this is a great option. Or if you need some you know, gluten-free. Right. And these are great because in the flavor packs too, so this one has a lemon-lime, my favorite cranberry, a lot of other people's favorite black raspberry, which I do like as well, and then also a margarita. I like the margarita. I know. You're a tequila person. I, yeah. So this one has tequila and the rest are vodka. Correct. So you kind of get a mix mm -hmm. too of the spirit that's in there. Um, but they're eight 12-ounce cans and they are fabulous and they really are zero carbs, zero sugar, and only 100 calories. So we have a lot of people coming in saying, I want to drink, but I don't want to be full. I don't want to gain a whole lot of weight. So I'd say carbless is a great option. Great option. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we do tastings of this a lot. In fact, yes. this Saturday, um, I believe we're going to have a carbless tasting. That's wonderful. So that's a great option as wait. well. I know. It's it. always it, fun. It is. And people don't know until they try it. That's why I love the tastings. I do too. Because you get to sample before yeah. you invest. Yeah. But once you sample, you pretty much invest. Right. Yeah. Okay. The next one, high noon. And so a lot of people that really love, this is real vodka, real juice, and it's called high noon. And I brought the variety pack too because it has watermelon, black cherry, grapefruit, and pineapple. So when you're with friends, not everybody loves the same flavor. Right. And so we have people that come in 
that, well, I prefer pineapple. Well, I prefer, well, I'm allergic to mango. And so I think all of these offer a little variety. Right, a great, it, great variety. Mm -hmm. And they're just so easy right mm -hmm. now. And so that's something that people are definitely looking for when they come into the store. And some great options. Then the Malibu drinks. You, you cannot beat the I know, Malibu drinks. I know it. People love oh. them. And so this is strawberry daiquiri. It's a four pack. Mm -hmm. Has Caribbean rum. And with that, we'll sit here and think about it because we have to go to break. So it's been so great being here with you today. Stop by Bella Vista Wine and Spirits or just have spirit with whatever you're doing.